Do you want to be able to cruise without hesitation and roughness? Maybe you'd like to roll up to a stop sign and not have the bike die on you, but instead idle nicely. Maybe you've got birds living in your carburetors. Or maybe you just want to rip that throttle all the way back and have the bike take off instead of fall flat on his face. So in today's video, we're going to look at some of the common issues bikes with carburetors commonly have and how to fix them. Number one, easy one. Pod filters have this lip that cover important ports on a CV carb. What the hell's a CV carb, bro? A constant velocity carb uses this slide mechanism to control the amount of air and fuel that enters the engine. Now, one important thing is there's this conically shaped needle at the end of it. And this needle essentially um, restricts the main fuel jet from letting out all of its fuel into the intake tract. Now, the farther that this slide lifts, the smaller this rod diameter gets and the more fuel is allowed to enter the engine. So, meat mop, meat mop, robot talk. But what I'm getting at here is if your slide isn't opening correctly, then you're not gonna get the right amount of air or fuel that your engine needs. And in order for your slide to open correctly, a very important part of that is the diaphragm and the air that which enters the inlet of the carb here, um, some of it's entering this slot here, and if this slot's blocked, then your diaphragm's not gonna open correctly. Pod filters have this lip that cover important ports on a CV carb, like the vacuum port shown here. Now to get rid of them, what I do is take some sort of tool and just remove the part of the lip that would block those ports. All right, so you tried the pod filter fix and it helped but didn't seem to do everything. Now, the air bleed screw is the next thing you can adjust without taking it all apart and that's what I'm doing here. For this bike specifically, you can close them completely by tightening them until you feel them stop and then back them out. For this bike, it was two and a half turns. If that doesn't seem to help, you're gonna have to start tearing into things. Here I've got the three carbs from my XS850SG. Um, I've removed the choke assembly. What I've removed here is called the choke plate. And this plate actually had an air leak, which had developed causing that bird chirping noise at idle. So if you snug the three screws holding the choke plate down really well, I bet you without even changing the gasket, you will hear a difference in that bird squeaking or chirping if you've got that issue. We're getting deeper here. I'm removing the plug for the main jet. What you want to do is pull that main jet out and make sure the number etched onto that jet matches what it should be for that bike. Now, it sounds simple, but you never know. These previous owners tend to do things that don't make a lot of sense. Next, I'm removing the flow bowl. What I'm going to do is double check that the pilot jet is the right one. I'm going to double check the float height and also clean out all the passages with the carb cleaner. Here we're pulling apart the diaphragm and the slide. You can see here I double checked to make sure that the diaphragm's in good shape. I clean it all out and now I'm going to compare the needles. And that was actually the issue with these carbs is the needles in the carbs were really short and different than the ones that came in the rebuild kit. After I installed the new silver longer and more tapered needles, the bike ran a lot better. This is my first ride on the bike after I rebuilt the carbs without any adjustment.
So the strategy I use is just to bring along a flathead screwdriver and make a bunch of pull-offs, adjust all three carb air mixture screws in half turn increments. So I adjust them all together in the beginning. Um, I do this around five times on a, let's just say 30 minute ride until I feel like I've got the sweet spot. If you feel like you can't find the sweet spot or you run out of adjustment, that's kind of a sign that your jet size is my need to change or your needle height position needs to change. Um, it could also mean your carbs are not synchronized properly or you know, worst case scenario it could mean there's some internal engine issues like low compression or something like that. But generally this is my process until I feel like I found the sweet spot. I got a lot of popping on my first ride so my initial adjustment was to turn all three air bleed screws clockwise half a turn and then go for another test ride. I made the clockwise half turn adjustment a few more times before I got to a spot where the popping on low load acceleration stopped. The mid range felt really good on the bike while riding it but the top end felt uh, pretty weak although it wasn't breaking up like it was initially. So my thinking is I'll need to go back in and adjust the needle heights so that they are letting out a little bit more fuel when the throttle is completely open. I hope you guys got something useful out of this video. I make these for fun and I had a lot of fun making this specific video and I'll look forward to making more. So if you guys have any feedback or comments, just throw them in the comments. Thanks!